because this is my only friend in this bitch. I'm gonna tell you right now, let me see. Okay, but it's a lot of my fans back there, but this is my only friend in here, I tell you that. Uh, this is my day one right here. You don't know, like, you know, the struggle with really broke. This is my boy right here. I was on his couch though, so I was broke. You feel me? Uh, so this is your friend? Yeah. I was asked if I would do a, let me see, I was asked if I would do a photo shoot with Chris, and I was like, yeah, but I think I need, like, uh, maybe a house phone or somebody to rock it with me, because, like, if you look at it real quick, you might not notice that it's the anti sign. That shit's fire. That dude is whack. Coolest podcast in the world. Big Ed. How you living? Two turn. <laughs> I want to just say this is that me and Big Ed, I think we were, Sorry. We, we were doing no. drugs in the bathroom uh, a couple months ago, and you were telling me some story about some guys shooting up your house. And I was like, you know yeah. what? Maybe you should be on the podcast, man. No, they weren't shooting my house up. I was, I was, I was making beats at like 1 a.m. and I wanted to get like a rock star to stay up. Uh -huh. I'm a rock star. And we also, for the record, I asked him to bring whoever he wanted to bring in the whole wide world. And he brought Lil Tracy, he nails the magnet. So, yeah. yeah. No, nah, so, so I leave my house at 1 a.m. to go to 7-Eleven, like down the street. It's like a mile away. Mm -hmm. And then a car followed me. 
Uh -huh. Behind me, like three cars back when I parked, they just shot at me. Really? Uh -huh. And then, <laughs> and then like a few weeks later, they tagged my name on my mom's apartment. I like, moved. I just recently moved. They wrote big head. They wrote big head on my apartment. It's what still there. With the lucky scene. With the lucky scene, but they covered it. They covered it, but like it's there. Where was this? This is in Lancaster, California. Okay. It's like the desert. It's nothing there. Right. Yeah. That's why I like it more than LA. It's so yeah. cute. Why, like why, why, why do they want to kill you? What happened? I don't know. Honestly, yeah. I fucked. I don't want to kill you. I don't like it. In California, in Lancaster, I fucked everyone's bitch. Really? No, that's not why, but I did, though. How'd you fuck everyone's bitches? Um, wow, I, I, 19, I bought a Benz, I beats, when I had no, I was just selling beats on the internet, I bought a Benz and started like fucking hoes. At first, I had no hoes. I mean, really? It was Big E. Strong man. <laughs> Come here, Big E. What? That was Big E appearance. People at home don't even know that that door opens, probably. Come here, Tell me Big E. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. right here. No, yeah, no, no, I, no, I don't know what the reason for shooting at me was. It was just really random. It was kind of, I was like, Hey, for the record, Big E is letting Lil Pump drive his car off, off the drink right now. I just want, in, in terms of like all time bad life decisions, that's got to be up there. How would you do that? I'll get this. I was driving a Porsche off the lane. So, for the record, you fucked everybody's bitch in Lancaster off of having a Benz. No, I don't think it was having a Benz. I think <laughs> that was a part of it, though. That was a part of it, and then I turned into a pretty bitch. What? So, that's so how you describe yourself a, now? Yeah, I was at a strip club like these last two nights. She was at and I just, like, this strip girl comes to me like, you want to go on a dance? And I told her, you don't want to go on a dance with me because I'll take your soul. And this is the other, the bitch from, I'm well, gonna oh yeah, the first night, the that first bitch night. looked like a fucking, uh, <laughs> koala, uh. She was Asian, bro, at least I brought her home and she, like. Every Asian girl's hot. She, she, she rode from the squad and she, you know, she, yeah. I brought her home, she, she said I get off at one thirty. I told her I'm a bad bitch. I told her to call me a bad bitch while she's dancing on me. And then she's like, I'm getting off 130 from the crib. And it got cracking. And then it got cracking in the morning. Cracking. All the homies. So being and a bad bitch. Pockets and he ran everything up. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> did you buy I'm not going to lie. Did she, did no, she, she, did she along that way? <laughs> no, no, I'm not gonna lie. I, I walk out. Biggie's sitting on the couch. He's just sitting on the couch, and chop, I'm like, chop, chop. the girl asked me to get her wallet, but she's super fucked up. Should I go on her wallet and yes. take all my money back? So I start looking for a wallet. I couldn't find her wallet. Well, it's kind of your wallet, your money. Yeah, yeah, it's my money. I was gonna go back in there and take her money, take her money. But then she saw, I heard the footsteps coming down the hallway, so I put, I just act like, oh, here you go. Uh huh. I was gonna take the money back. That's fire. She's she watching. Know. She gonna be watching. She knows she gonna watch. I don't care. That's it. But she, I she, I she, she won't care. But she fucking into the club in the first place. No, nah, no. Nah, I think she. <laughs> fucking, I choked her while I was getting a dance, and I told her that I'm in control. That's of this why. Dance. So is that that's your usual style? That'll just be super, super Bro, direct. This like nigga be choking, big yeah. ass. Yeah. I'm not out of nowhere. Remember who's in Arizona and who's at that random house? The random bitch. Oh my god, we're this all the random bro. help. I swear to god, he just it choking her. I just walked up to her and choked, bro. People are like, it was white guys in there. Oh my god, they have this is Google whisper and shit. I'm like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm a thought whisper. You go, yeah. boy. It's like if you're a body enough, they might just like get that vibe from you and sort of just go with it. You think? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm just burnt. I think it's because I didn't go to high. <laughs> I didn't go to high school when I was like. At all, I never went to high school, so. Oh, you stopped in eighth grade, ninth grade. Yeah. Okay. I kind of went to home, but I didn't do my work. I Look at his shirt. And I had no hoes, and I, I, cause I wasn't at school, so when now that I got, like, I feel like I did. Did you used to drive by a school on like a dirt bike? No, I used to, <laughs> I used to ride by my middle school, cause I was dirt biking in the middle school when I take, I would skip school and I go ride up in the hills in Lancaster. It's the desert, and I'll go on the, the grass. At the middle school and just whoa, go crazy. Think about how crazy that sounds. That is crazy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> how the fuck do you even drop out in eighth, ninth grade, living in the middle of fucking nowhere? Don't the cops like come and harass no, you and shit? Was, I was on this homeschool shit, but I never did the work really. Uh, like I didn't get no credits. Yeah. And they just they didn't really come and get me. Ever. They just stopped. I think I. I think it's because uh, they let you stay there till you're 21, and by the time I hit 18, I still was super behind. Yeah. That's when I just stopped. Yeah. And I was already making hell of money off music. Cause how did that start for you? Music? Yeah, making money off beats and shit. Uh, or even just making beats in the first place. Making beats? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I just downloaded just FL Studio going all over. on my mom's computer, and I just started, like, I got, like, obsessed with it. Uh-huh. And what age? Making money off, oh, at uh, 16 or 17. I think it was 17. I don't know. But... I started making money off it because I found SoundClick, this website. Uh-huh. Store-wide, where I beat it. And, uh, 
And then I started just, it just started work. It started, bro, I brought in so much money. I low-key slowed down on there, uh -huh. but I can go back up on that bitch and make hell of a bitch. How much can you sell beats for on that? Bro, you can sell for a little bit, right? Yeah, what you can sell at least. Not for a meal. A lot of times. You can sell, back in the days, I was doing $25 leases. Uh huh. But I was making almost ten thousand dollars a month. Really? At eighteen, nineteen. That's a grind, huh? It's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, just throwing out, throwing beat, and they suck. Really? Yeah, I don't upload on there in a long time. Wow, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. What do you think of Lil Tracy? <laughs> Lil Tracy. Let's hear your real thoughts on. All right, the true thoughts. Uh, he's weird, <laughs> and he, he, but no, nah, he's my favorite rapper to be honest. Really? Nah, dead ass. But. He low key pissing me off lately because he hasn't made a song in like a month or two. Like a month is that? And that's annoying. Uh, that's not true. Wait, no, he, no, no, he hasn't made a solo song. I even dragged him to the studio at like 6 a.m. the day. He didn't want to go. And I got him drunk and shit. Uh huh. <clears throat> and then he started making a song. Halfway through the hook, ooh, I brought some strippers over. Uh huh. And then I'm like, with you, huh? It didn't really work out after the strippers got there. Right. Well, yeah. oh, so you just started fucking and then you just No, we didn't fuck the them. Thing? We were just in there wiped up. Uh, I like to watch, I want to I don't know what happened, bro. <laughs> no, I did coke off one of the strippers' titties. Oh, yeah, and you put it on Instagram and everybody got mad. I put it on Instagram, huh? but they got mad. I think, but he I want, can't, he look, he look at his comments. I look at my, I look at my comments like, today. Just, should I delete this, bro? I'm so surprised to hear that you're in a draft spell creatively because I'm not I, in a draft spell. Oh, it was just, you haven't felt like making a song for a while? I feel like you're the dude who's like been so prolific over like the last year for an insane amount of music. Exactly. Yeah. The only really reason he's on the only reason he's playing on all that music is because I forced him to record. Really? In a way, yeah. I mean, I'm just playing the kind of. Yeah. I feel like that's just the stage that, that little Tracy has been in. Like the, every rapper early on has well not everyone, but a lot of rappers have a stage where they just put yeah. out mad shit. Yeah. And at a certain point you gotta slow down. It's like lately I've been getting more buzz. Mm -hmm. I'm not even doing shit. <laughs> in the house. 2K. He's addicted to 2K. Triple X blew up while he was in jail. Niggas are not beating me in 2K. <laughs> Low key, y'all beating him. Or but did you beat me though? No, but every time I'm oh. beating him, oh, something I... happens where we stop the game. Oh, really? But, but every then time I win, nothing happens. No, but what's it in basketball if you're like clutch as if you can just like win at the end, right? Chase is actually good at basketball. Yeah, Chase is yeah, a basketball good. player. Yeah. Not anymore. No. I so probably died. You went down a different lane. Probably still the balling though. He did. In a different way. Well, he's balling like an athlete, but he's gotten. <coughs> oh, I, I'm done. How did y'all get. Ooh. I'm interviewing. What is that? What's that? <coughs> no jumper. Gucci. 95 Air Max, because I'm a dope runner. Balling yeah. like an athlete, but got no jumper. Because there's like. You don't get sued, dude. That's all right. He, he might, like, <laughs> low-key know about us, because the other day he put up a picture of his feet, and he wrote, like, the lyrics. He put those lyrics on Snapchat, and then he also hit up. Tyler Grosso, because he wants the shirt with his face on it. That's what's up. Which That's all legendary, man. I mean, it also kind of seems like I'm maybe preparing a lawsuit. The lawyers are good, Yeah. The lawyers came. All right. Ooh. Big head. Now you got to introduce these two, too. Matt and Genios? Yeah. They might, they they might not know about them. Genios? Genios? Me and Genios went to the same middle school. Oh, okay. And when I met them. That's why they both got music notes on their face. You oh, know? okay. You making this shit sound good. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, we got the new notes low key the same day on some random shit on accident. Yeah, random. But I'm, I know him since middle school, and then when I seen him, he was short as fuck. Like now he's wearing the same size, but he was so he was like the littlest person in middle school, and he had all the cute black girls as his friends, and I like black girls back then. But I, <laughs> you I still was, do. But I hated oh, I him. Love, because oh, I love black girls. Right? I That's your thing. Them. But yeah. I hated this nigga because he had all the Mexican and. White dad girl. Yeah, I, I don't tell like black girls. I could tell he didn't like me though, because I'll try to talk to him hella and he would just be like a dick. But you liked him because of the music shit? <laughs> no, I just liked him because he just looked cool. He was like he always wore this uh Green Bay Packers hat because he uh -huh. was a G on it. He was cool. I mean, he was a small little dude. Yeah, and, and I used to Did you oh, used yeah. to rap? He used to rap. I started making beats for him when he rapped. Okay. But then he started making beats. He started staying with me and my mom at my mom's house, and we just started making beats. Mm -hmm. Now he like DJ makes beats. He taught me how to DJ. Like, yeah, yeah. I learned all beats yeah, really from me. So you guys were like feeding off each other, and at yeah. that time, living like a small town, is that the proper yeah. area? Like kind of a big ass.